Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. You're in the right place. You checking out? Chip Baker, the success crowd. Conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles. Compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today we have Miss Monica Crofton with us. And Miss Crofton is the CEO and founder of Crofton Financial Group. So you know, she's involved with a lot of positive things and doing some great things. And so uh, first off, I want to say thank you for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles today. Of course. Thank you, Chip, for inviting Crawford Financial Group, inviting us over to the Success Chronicles. This is about to be amazing. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, so let's let's jump right into it. Talk to us about your life story, you know, where you're from and, you know, up until now. Okay. Well, well, like you said, my name is Monica Crawford. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. Um, when I became a little bit of age in my early 20s, I moved to California where I completed college and uh, began a business, began my business in credit repair. Um, it started by me being in the financial industry for over 10 years. I worked inside of the banking industry my entire career when I started working. Um, and as I was working for these major corporations, I started developing a love for helping people get out of horrible financial situations. It was very easy, but they just didn't have the, the navigation skills to get out of it. So being that I had the experience and the expertise by being inside of the banking industry, I started helping a lot of people with that. So as I'm in California uh, for 10 years, I started growing my business, but um, California wasn't my community. It was just, um, one long business trip for me, a 10 year business trip for me. And uh, so I decided to bring my business back home, back to my roots, back to my community, which is Houston, Texas. Um, so now we're in Houston. Um, we have clients in all 50 states and abroad, and abroad. And I love to sing. Music was my first love. It still is my first love. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my journey. Okay. All right. So you talked about your career. Uh, what are the three things that you've accomplished that you're proud of? One, one of the things is that I, that I learned how to complete something. I learned how to complete a goal. Um, yeah. One thing I noticed just growing up, um, being around people, I especially in the community I was in in Houston, Texas, I always heard a lot of people say, hey, I'm about to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then when I look up or I come back a year later, they're still saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So I noticed at a very early age that a lot of people say they're going to do something but never complete a task. So I never fully seen tasks completed in my environment. So um, so one of the things that um, I'm very proud of is that I've learned how to complete a task. When you learn how to complete a task, the world is yours. Because you know how to go after something, complete it, and then once you complete something, I swear it's just a little treasure waiting in there for you to go after the next, you know, goal. So one of the things I'm very proud of is that I've, I'm, I've learned how to complete something. That's throughout my life. So anything I put my mind to doing, I complete it. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, also, one of the things I'm really proud of is buying my first home. You know, um, that was a big thing for me. Um, I worked for it for so long, and I'm proud that it came. I thought it was going to come by me working in corporate America, but I bought my home while I was an entrepreneur, like fully on, full on entrepreneur. I didn't know that that's the way it was going to happen, but I'm, I'm proud that it happened. So that's one thing that I'm proud of. And I'm really, um, I love that, you know, I run everything in my life and my business with integrity. Integrity is, 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 is it has to be instilled in you, and so that that to me brings on success because when you handle everything with integrity, from 
your personal life, your business, and how you deal with other people, it's just it just opens up the world for more people to to want to like you and be around you because they know that at the end of the day, whether I'm I'm screaming at them because they're not doing something correctly or either I'm being happy and being joyful with them, they know in it my integrity is is intact. So those are the three things that I can say I'm pretty proud of. Okay. And, and and three good things too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what's your definition of success? My definition of success is just just being happy within your truth. Like success is not money. I've learned that success is not money. That comes with it. You know, if success is 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 you being able to see something in your mind and you know that and you did the steps. To make it happen, that to me is success. Just to me, success is simple. Just completing what you said you're gonna do. That's your truth. If you say you're gonna do this, that's something that's true with you. So, to me, that that's what success is. And success is being able to once you're blessed with success, being able to bless others. That's the biggest part of success is you're being able to bless others. So, um, so that that's my definition. Of okay. Uh I, I truly agree with the whole thing when you said that, you know, once you've learned some things and you've done some things, you know, you have to give back, you know, because cause no one reaches success on their own, you know. And so, you know, when you're able to, to do things and learn things, I think it's super important to, you know, bless those, especially those people that have helped you get where you are. Oh, definitely. And and those who had nothing at all to do with my success. You know what I mean? Like total absolute strangers. It's like, look, you know, it, you don't know that your blessing is going to be a blessing for other people. Like, for instance, just a personal story. Like I said, I, I recently became a homeowner just less than a year ago. I didn't know that I was going to become a landlord and a homeowner within the same year. So I I was able to bless someone. That was my blessing. You know, that was my home. I fixed it up. It was beautiful. And then God had something else for me to do. So I, so now it's time for me to move on. But I didn't know it was going to happen that quickly. But within that blessing, I was able to bless a young man and his two, two young sons. He's a single father to move into my house without all the criteria. Of course, he has to pay the monthly rent, you know. But the fact that that blessing became a blessing, even with me building my business. Um, I just had an idea, you know, that, and I and something that I believe that in something that I knew would help the community. But now I'm able to hire other people, and not only that, but I help other people reach their financial goals. So it's like my that one blessing blessed so many people in so many other ways that you don't know. But you have to stand in your truth and and and, and get to that point, get to that level of success of whatever you feel is. It's not money. It's completing that in which you set out for. And once you do that. It, it just opens you up to 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 more blessings to where you can become blessed. That's beautiful. That's the beautiful part within success. Yeah, and I'm gonna hit you with this one too. It gives you some fulfillment, doesn't it? Oh yes. Oh, of course. I mean, yeah. my credit is straight, so I'm not tripped. But when I have someone that never thought they could ever own a house or ever have a car in their own name call me and they're in tears and they're like oh my god i follow what you said and i just got approved for this and that i'm literally in my office crying with them because i know that feeling of feeling like you didn't think that you would ever be able to do it but but you sought out what you were looking for and you and and, and that person helped you and now you you from one step and you 10 steps ahead of the game and it's just it's beautiful it's very yeah, good no doubt mm -hmm. what do you think it takes to achieve success Oh, first you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in what you're doing. That's number one. Two, faith. I mean, because you, it, on your path to success, you have to pray for God to light that up for you because it's dark when you're when you're starting something from scratch. I never seen no one personally build a business from scratch. I've never, not in my community, I never seen that. So for me having to build a business from scratch in the type of business I'm doing, I don't even know anybody that do what I do. So. It, it was a dark path in the beginning, so I had to stay in prayer, you know, and ask God, God, please light my steps. And it took one step at a time, but you, you, you have to pray. <laughs> you have to pray. You have to believe in yourself, and you just have to do a good job. I mean, do what you say you're going to do. If, if this is what you're in business and this is what you do, deliver what you do, you know, and that's what I believe is um, – answer to that question okay so believe in yourself have mm -hmm. faith and do a good job 
you know, you talked about, um, you know, completing, you know, you said that a few times, you know, complete, if you start something, complete it. Yes. You, know, um, you also talked about steps as far as to be successful. What are, what are some things that you personally do in your life? Cause I know, you know, with having a business and running things, um, there's a lot that goes on where you have to be organized and you have to plan and, you know, manage your time. And, you know, what are some things that, that you have found that have helped you be successful in doing what you do? Okay. It was not easy. I would say that I stumbled a few times. Um, one thing is you have to write things down. That's number one. You write it down, you make it plain and clear. If I was to turn this camera around in my office right now, I have writings over here, plans over here, business plans right here, my calendar right here, everything's filled up. So I'm on top of everything that I do. Another thing is I don't overwhelm my schedule. If, if I can't do it on that day, know how to say no. You need to know when to say no, but then you also have to be able to show up when you say you're going to show up. You know what I mean? So you just have to, that's where that integrity comes in at when it comes to that, you know. But then um, when it comes to your personal life, you just have to balance that out. It's a balancing act. Everyone is a little bit different, you know. It's plenty of times I came home to my family, like, I'm so sorry I worked three days straight. <laughs> my apologies, but I had to get this done. But then that's not healthy. So you have to find a healthy balance when you're building a business. Like I said, so helps me with that is being able to write things down. And I had to learn how to delegate some of some of the things that I have to do here because building a business that's your baby you know you don't trust everybody with it you don't want anybody in your office you don't you don't want people to to, to run off with any of the ideas that you're throwing out so it was very hard for me in the beginning the first three years of my business I didn't want to hire anybody you can't <laughs> trust then, nobody right but then I felt like an octopus I had like eight arms doing everything and I that's not healthy personally you right. know so right. eventually I was like, you know what? I need to get an administrative manager. I need to someone to do my administrative work. That I'll that I will allow someone to do. So I hired someone, <laughs> you know, it's like they'll do that part. You know, you gotta I'm not gonna let you do this part, but you can do that <laughs> part. So, you know, I, I, I got an administrative director. My life got so much easier. My time got, you know, more opened up. So, you know, those are just some of the things. Write it down and learn how to delegate and then you'll be fine. Okay. All right. You know, um, one more point I'm going to hit on and then we'll, we'll, we'll get done here. You know, you hit another word that you talked about this big for me when you said balance. Mm -hmm. You know, um, man, balance is, is so important. And I think I think it even even more with having balance, you have to make sure you look at yourself and make sure you're on point so that you can help others be a blessing to others like you said mm -hmm. and so um um i liked how you said you know my family man i'm so sorry that i had to work three days you know but y'all gonna like to check though right. <laughs> you know? right, right. you're gonna see the, you're gonna see the outcome of what i'm doing i'm not just staying out i'm just not staying at work for nothing there's there's a point to this you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. so yeah, it's very difficult finding the balance, but once you get it, you but you're not going to find the balance by trying to do everything on your own. That, to have the balance, especially once your business starts growing or whatever your after starts growing, you have to get other people in on your team uh, to, to delegate some of those responsibilities out. If you don't do that, you're going to experience entrepreneurial burnout, which is a real thing. Mm -hmm. So um, and, and you're not going to be balanced because you're, going, you're trying to do everything. You're going to exhaust yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You're not going to be in tune with yourself to be able to follow out your to be creative and follow out your ideas or to do the work that people are paying you to do you're gonna be too tired you know so you have to learn that balance your your, your business depends on it good deal well thank you so much again for taking the time to interview with the chronicles a lot of good points you hit there i think that you know people will be able to watch it and benefit from just want to encourage you you know to keep doing your thing and pushing and you know like you said you know having that faith and believing and and doing your thing and like i said I, I can i can truly like i felt that you know when you said you know it's a lot of people from where i'm from they've never experienced these things you know and so for me to be able to help you know my people you know experience those things man it's, it's truly a blessing 
Yeah, truly, but and it, truly yeah, a blessing. But you have to be the one to to not that not that I'm trying to be a leader at all. Look, I'm just trying to live my best life. <laughs> That's I'm not trying to be a leader. That's not what I want to do. Although I am the fastest growing credit repair company in Houston, Texas, but but that just comes from hard work. You know what I mean? And the only credit repair company that's certified by the city of Houston. However, that is just come on, come on. Hard work. I'm not attempting to be in front of anyone else. I'm my own competition. You know what I mean? I look in the mirror and I say, okay, Monica, look, today this is what you did yesterday. Today you need to do it like this. And, and next week, you need to be better than this week, you know. So, you know, I'm, I learn as I go. But in order for me, like I said, to be a blessing to others, I have to do that to myself. I have to do that. So to any of the leaders out there or anybody that has a business idea that, that is changing people's lives, uh, unfortunately, that, that's on you. That, that, that's your goal. That's, your, that's your, your, your destiny. And there's a difference between a dream and a destiny. See, my music business was my dream you understand what i'm saying i'm going to wrap this up but i just want to leave this with some people who may be in the balance on what direction they should go in their life mm -hmm. i had a dream of music when i first moved to california that's all i did was music all i did was sing songwrite that was my love that was my goal but i was always in the financial industry as i was recording music and doing shows and then so one day i was doing a show and god came over me and he was like look Look at what you're saying. You're not really helping these people. You know what I'm saying? You just this is selfish. It's just for you. He was and then so God gave me the idea to start my own credit repair company. I didn't quite understand what it meant because I always was into music. But God told me to stop that and do this for for now. And so once I started doing that, I realized that my dream was selfish. Music is selfish. You had it doesn't do anything for anybody except for me. But I knew I was stepping into my destiny when i started helping clients repair their credit and they're getting ahead in their lives and and that was fulfilling to me i was fulfilled and not and it wasn't fulfilled because of me it was fulfilled because i was helping somebody else yes they had to pay me to do it but that's not that's that's regardless of the point the point is, is that i was able to help someone move forward that's how you can tell if it's a dream if you're living in your dream or it's your destiny sometimes it could be the same thing but for me my dream of, of wanting to do that led me into California where I found my destiny, which was bigger, way bigger than my dream. So I just want to leave that with anybody that's in the balance right now. Follow your truth, follow, follow what, 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 what helps more people that, that will be more fulfilling for you in the end. Well, there it is. <laughs> thank you so much, Miss Monica Crofton. And uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of the success Chronicles. We'll see you next time. You are watching Chip Baker with the Success Chronicle. Thank you, Chip. <laughs> All right. Go get it.